might be a deal breaker. I don't know. Yeah, definitely grabbing these. These are absolutely worth it. Hopefully I didn't screw up. Yeah, because we don't have a lot of money in the budget. So if I screwed up, it, it could really hurt us. Thanks so much for tuning in today and welcome back to the $20 sneaker collection. At the end of last week's episode, we finished things off with a scary low amount of $30.51. I'm genuinely not sure exactly how we're gonna <clears throat> make it out of that hole. But before we dive into things, I wanna give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Whatnot. And by now, I'm sure you already know what Whatnot is, but just in case you don't, Whatnot is a live auction shopping platform with auctions starting at just $1. In fact, they've got sneaker auctions 24 hours a day. And to start off next week, I've got my own Whatnot live auction where I'm actually giving away a brand new and upcoming pair of the Amamanier Air Jordan 12s, a sneaker which I've already done a review on, and I've gotta say, I absolutely love. It's one of the best collaboration sneakers to drop so far this year. I'm top of the box you've got your natural cardboard with the jump man in black on the sides of the box you've got orange and black and some printing on the back of the box and the best part is if you want to win this pair of Amamanier Air Jordan 12s for yourself all you need to do is click the link in the top of the description below sign up for whatnot if you haven't already and then bookmark my upcoming live stream and actually if you sign up using my link you get ten dollars towards your first purchase and that first purchase could be sneakers it could be baseball cards it could be retro video games it can be anything you want because whatnot has pretty much everything I'll also be giving away a bunch of a to carry whatnot socks. So again, make sure to check out my upcoming whatnot live stream by clicking the link in the top of the description below and bookmarking it in the app, and you could win this pair of Amamanier Air Jordan 12s. But first, before we dive into the thrifting, I actually got this package in yesterday, which I'm super excited about because this is a pair of shoes that we've been waiting for for weeks at this point. This is a shoe for the clock that we picked up, I think it was like two weeks ago, and uh, it's finally here, and I'm really excited to actually cut it open and see what we've got. But before we do that, let me grab the stupid heavy clock so we can throw these shoes on the stupid heavy clock. Now that that's done, let's bust these guys open. Okay, so inside the box, we've got the... That's a Yeezy box. I, I bought a pair of Jordans, so I don't know what this is. <laughs> let's open up the box and hope that the actual shoes are in here. Okay, we're good. Yo, I was freaking out for a second, I'm not gonna lie. So here they are, the Air Jordan 8 playoffs. I bought this pair from GOAT, so it's got the GOAT sticker on there, the uh, the verification sticker on there. But here they are, the Air Jordan 8 playoffs. Now this is an OG Air Jordan 8 colorway. This particular pair is from 2013, so it's a little bit of an older pair. It looks like the straps are backwards, but that's fine, we can fix that later. And the pair is actually in better condition than I would have thought. We got this pair for $118.50, obviously it came with a replacement box. There are some signs of wear, like some scuffing right there in the midfoot and uh, it's got a little bit of heel drag. And for 118 bucks, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm actually really happy that the side of the pair that looks better is the side that's going on the clock. This right side looks way cleaner than this left side. Maybe not way cleaner, but definitely cleaner. With all that out of the way, let's throw this guy on the clock. Here we go. We are so close, guys. Only three pairs left. There we go. It's kind of becoming a challenge to see how long I can hold it up. <sighs> we are literally three pairs away from being done. We need the ones, we need the fours and we need the nines, and that's it. Everything else is on there. All of the other OG colorways, we've got the twos, the threes, the fives, the sixes, the sevens, the eights, the tens, the elevens, and the twelves. And it looks great. It's all black and red. I love it. It's incredible. And actually, speaking of that, I'd love to know your thoughts on what you'd like to see from the next thrifting series. Sort of what end goal you'd like to see. If there's any challenges you guys would like me to do, let me know in the comment section down below. But with all that being said, let's dive into this week's thrifting. Hardens for 15, some kids blazers for 11. Ooh, really good condition too. It's actually probably not a bad pickup. Ooh, some Jordan hybrids of some kind. I don't know which hybrid this is, but it's 15. It's actually in really nice condition too. I might actually look into these. Let me check these out really quick. So these are the Jordan Flight Origins and I just don't think they're worth it. But uh, I mean, it's still cool to find, I guess. Got some Nike 720s, except <laughs> the toe of it's coming off, so it's probably not a good pickup. Got some LeBrons right underneath the speaker, so you guys might hear what's playing. <laughs> they're going for eight, but they're completely worn through, so that's a no-go. Also, don't ever buy shoes that are completely worn through because you can't fix them. That's like an unfixable thing unless you're willing to soul swap, and that's just so much work. Got some KD13s, I think, for 30, but I was actually really considering these. The problem is, is that if you look at the toe, at least on the left shoe, it's completely worn through which is a bummer because I would have probably grabbed these otherwise, but they are going for 30, which is a bit more than I would like. But really, if it wasn't for the toe, 
I definitely would have grabbed them 100% because that would have been a relatively quick mover. So I'm thinking the move is some kind of running shoe. And this is the first one that I found that has a really nice tread on the outsole. It's not too expensive at 15 bucks. So I'm gonna check out the price on eBay and see what we got. We've got these guys, which I passed by earlier, that actually look like they're in really good condition. The toe's a little bit browned up a little bit. I could probably clean that off, but not bad. I actually don't know what the price is. Let me check that out. Nothing really new in the case today, unfortunately. And actually after checking these guys out, online it looks like they go for like 40 to 50 so this might actually be a pickup cross training shoe is crazy never would have thought that's pretty cool to see you haven't seen these in a minute also got some jordans that look like sevens but they're not they're the um shoot i forget the name let me know if you know the name in the comment section down below all right so we grabbed a pretty decent pair of sneakers now i'm not exactly sure what the price was there was no price on the bottom i haven't checked the receipt yet i'll have riff put it up on the screen Riff, I'll leave it in the notes. That's That part's for you. Yes, sir. It's a nice pair of shoes. It's definitely a pair of cross-training sneakers. It's the Reebok Nano X. It's in pretty good condition. I might clean it up with some rejuvenator, but that's about it. I think it's pretty much good to go. And hopefully that sells quickly. I have no idea how quickly these sorts of shoes sell, um, but we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully I didn't screw up. Man, because we don't have a lot of money in the budget, so if I screwed up, it, it could really hurt us. Let me cut in really quick because we did make a sale right after Goodwill, and that was the Reebok Nano X. So we picked up this shoe from Goodwill for $12, and we ended up being able to sell this shoe on eBay for $44. Bucks. And after fees, we were left with $40.48, and when you subtract the original purchase price of this shoe, you're left with a net profit of $28.48. See what I mean? It's always a shoe that you never expect are the ones that make the decent profit. Like, I never expected a pair of Reebok Nanos to be one of the best sales we've had over the last couple weeks. It's kind of crazy. So after that Reebok Nano sale, we're left with a sneaker collection fund of $58.99, which is more than enough to go through. First things first, we found some New Balance 327s in this cool split colorway. This is actually kind of fire. How much for? 32. A bit much for me. Ooh, these look like those uh those Kanye um aqua boot things from a couple years ago. You're ugly. We got these Pumas right here. These are pretty clean. These are the first Puma basketballs that released. I forget the actual name of these, but cool to see. I don't think they go for much. We got some Airmore up tempos. Pretty decent condition. They look like they're uh, size eight and a half or 45. Maybe worth it. Let me check online really quick. Yeah, if they were new, I'd grab them, but for used, probably not worth it. <laughs> I thought these were Yeezys for a second. They're close, they're almost the 700 V2s, but they're not. We've got some Raygun Air Forces, probably not worth much, and for 38 bucks, definitely not worth it. Nice, we got some Star Wars, Adidas, some things. I think these are Stan Smiths, probably. We got Luke right there on the tongue. That's kind of cool, I actually kind of dig that. Not my size. Though. some really interesting React Air Forces in women's size. I don't think these are going for anything. Let me check. They actually look like they're men's size too, to be honest. Apparently it is a women's shoe. And uh, it's going for decent, but with the margins that we're looking at, it's not gonna be a lot. Probably not worth it, especially for 50 bucks. Got some Air Force Ones here with like a special swoosh, it looks like. I'm not sure what kind of Air Forces these are or which like special version they are, but how much are they sell them for? 37 bucks, size eight. Let me check this out on eBay. These could be the Ricardo Tishi. I'm not sure, probably not. They're probably just a standard Air Force. Let me check them out. They're just the chenille swoosh. Air Force Ones and they're definitely not worth it. Got some huge Blazers, size 13, for I think 35 bucks. Blazers don't really move for me though because they're so cheap to get normally, so if I leave those. Got some cool neon Air Force Ones for 45. Maybe I'll check these guys out. They're probably not gonna go for much though. And they're also, ooh, pretty worn. I think I'm just gonna leave these and not even worry about it. Up here we got some Jordan 11 IEs that don't have a Jumpman on them. They might not be. <laughs> they might not be good. I'll double check. Shoot, these might actually be worth it. So I think I'm gonna grab them for 45, not an hour. Got these mids, the <laughs> black and red mids for um, 60. It's actually not bad. Got the same Air Forces that we just saw in Buffalo, except this time for way cheaper, 29, and in much better condition. Let me check these guys out really quick. It's kind of crazy to see the same shoe in two stores, one after another. Yeah, definitely not worth it, but still cool. Crazy to see this pair going for this price. That's nuts. That would not have happened a couple years ago. Shoot, these are brand new. I mean, almost brand new. 80 bucks, it's not bad. We also got the uh, OG5s right here too, which 
we actually got our pair for cheaper. Hold up, we've got some Air Jordan 3s. I think this is the pair that just released. Are the Cardinal 3s or something like that? In a kid size? For eight bucks, that's actually not bad. Let me check these guys out online really quick because that's kind of crazy. Yeah, definitely grabbing these. These are absolutely worth it, even with some stains. I think I can clean those off. Got some Nike Dart 8s for, I think, seven bucks. I just checked these out on eBay. They're not really worth anything, but you know, kind of cool looking. Okay, so a pretty decent stop at Goodwill. That Goodwill doesn't usually have a lot, but sometimes they have something decent, which I guess is that's so stupid to say. I don't know why I keep saying that because like all these doors are exactly that way. All I'm trying to say is that this Goodwill is definitely more missed than hit. And uh, today we actually did hit. We hit this pair of Air Jordan 3, I believe Cardinal Reds. I'm not sure exactly what size they are. They're a size 13.5C. Yeah, definitely grabbing these. These are absolutely worth it, even with some stains. So um, not the easiest size to sell, but they are in pretty decent condition. They are definitely worn. They've got some paint on them. But for uh, 8 bucks or $7.99, this is definitely a good pickup because I think I can sell these on eBay for maybe 40 to 50 Pretty decent condition. I definitely need to scrub these a little bit and maybe cut off some of these, uh, these frayed um, uh, strings or whatever they are. But yeah, nice pickup. I'm stoked on it. So good news is, throughout the week, we actually had two more sales, and the first shoe that we sold were the Youth Air Jordan 3 Cardinals. So we grabbed this shoe from Goodwill for surprisingly cheap, I think it was like $7.99. I did end up having to clean up this shoe a little bit because it was pretty dirty and there was paint on there, but I was able to get it off. And we actually ended up being able to sell this shoe for $20, which, let's be honest, is not exactly what I wanted to sell it for, but it had been sitting for a couple days and I was getting impatient and I got an offer for 20 bucks, and I took it. Then after fees and shipping, we were left with $18.76, which means we have a net profit of $10 dollars and 77 cents which is actually pretty decent more than doubling our money and then the next sale that we had were the air jordan 11 low ies in black gum that we had just picked up from buffalo exchange for 45 bucks shoot these might actually be worth it so i think i'm gonna grab them now i'm not gonna lie the shoe was actually in really great condition and i was kind of hoping for more money but it did sell quickly and the price that we were able to get for this shoe was 67 dollars which means that after fees and shipping we were left with 61 dollars and 64 cents meaning we had a net profit of 16 dollars and 64 cents so after both of those sales we're left with a new sneaker collection fund of 86 dollars and 40 cents <laughs> some Air Forces. It's pretty clean black and red colorway. I actually kind of dig that. Got some, some sort of like Jordan thing. Never heard of this. 30 bucks, I don't know. Probably not worth anything. Some Air Maxes, some Sheltos. Nothing too crazy over here. Got some Jordan hybrids of some kind. Never seen this before actually. How much do they want for these? They want 24 bucks. That's actually not a bad price. Looks like we've got some big AIs up here. It's a really nice pink. Actually not even big, size nine. They're just a big shoe. Pretty nice looking sneaker for 38 bucks. That's probably exactly what they go for. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section down below. Excuse me, would I be able to check out that shoe right there at the top? Thank you so much, I appreciate it. 75, not bad. Yeah, that's actually really good. Price. Yeah, I might consider these. That's size are they? Size twelve. After checking the prices on eBay, it just doesn't really seem like it's worth it. Got some Wilson Air Force Ones. Not bad. 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 Got some nice Air Max 98s over here, looking pretty clean. So unfortunately, even though it's crazy windy, you guys probably can't even hear me, nothing about Buffalo Exchange. It's kind of crazy to find Carmine's here for 129, size nine and a half, in really good condition. Ooh, so you got some threes, nine and a half. Wow, this one's brand new, $1.99. Or, no, it's not brand new, but it's got the tag. That's crazy, I might actually grab these for myself. Actually got some 350s for $1.29. That's dope, that's really dope. Got some 11s for $1.59. Navy gum, those are clean, some Calabasas for 80. That's not bad. We've got some ones, some gold toes, $2.79, that's not bad. Got some OG Ultra Boost in really good condition for 60 bucks, what? Basically brand, they are brand new. I'm gonna check these out. So it turns out it's brand new and a men's size eight. What year was this one made? Was this an OG one or not? I can't tell. No, it can't be because it's got the flat tread. 
60 bucks is really decent. I might actually grab this because that's a crazy steal, especially if it's brand new. I think I'm gonna grab these if I can find the other one. I actually don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Here it is. So I ended up grabbing some Ultra Boost from 2nd Street. That's awesome. I'm actually really stoked on that. So the final stop of the week is the Nike factory store in Center City. I want to see if there's any refurbished stuff there. I don't know if there's going to be. There wasn't last time I was at this particular store, but we'll find out. We got some 97s. And then, I don't know what these are. But some sort of sneaker, <laughs> obviously. Got some Pegasus. Not too much on this wall. Got some Air Max 270s. Got some Jordan 36s. And this really nice red and white colorway, I dig that. Got some Jordan 1 lows here, it looks like. Size nine and a half. I bet they're full retail, to be honest with you. They are tried on though, but I'm gonna leave those. I look at the Jordan slip-ons. I've never actually seen these in person. Huh. Let's see what is he going for? 110. Interesting. Not a fan, but cool to see in person. So unfortunately, it didn't look like they had a refurbished section, so that's kind of a bummer. They didn't really have anything else either. So guys, we're pretty much finished with the week. The good news is we were able to pick up another pair of sneakers before the week ended. And of course, it's this brand new, it doesn't look that brand new right now, but this brand new pair of Adidas Ultra Boost in a men's size eight. It's the OG colorway. We picked up this shoe from Second Street for $59.99. It's in brand new condition. It's still got the tags, which is awesome. Unfortunately, it does not have the box, but the good news is I still think this will be a quick seller, especially because it's a relatively decent size in a great colorway. It is the, I think the updated version of the shoe. It doesn't have the original like knobs coming off the bottom. Instead it's got the flat continental traction pattern which is new I think for the um when did they re-release this like 2020 2019 I don't remember but either way really solid pickup it was kind of expensive but I think I can sell these for like 80 to 100 that's the hope so we'll see but after this pickup we have a new sneaker collection fund to round off the week of $26.41 and with that being said thank you all so much for watching make sure to check out my upcoming whatnot live stream by clicking that link in the description below and I'll see you all in the next one